I am upset. You're I'm upset. really upset. I am upset. And I, I at the f at first that was I was like, like it's all right. It's like th these things happen. But now getting the receipts and getting the evidence, I believe there's foul play. There is foul play. There's foul play. There ha there's mega foul play. Well, I so I I was like. I was expecting big things, and I'm and I'm yeah, big a things bit passionate. What, we're, we're on a tangent <laughs> yeah. here. What are you expecting big things? <laughs> I was expecting big things for XRP, or at least the pump of XRP. Uh -huh. um, uh, and obviously, that did not go uh, as planned, or as as said, it was planned. Now I and I and I'm now, after the one hour of me catching screenshots and looking at what's happened, I'm. I think there's foul play, and I want you to decide okay. whether. Okay. If I'm being, if I'm overreacting or not, you want me to solve um, this yellow card situation or not? I, bro, I, I think it very might be a red card situation. A red card situation. Oh, almost. All right, all right. I, I look. We'll, we'll, you'll see now. It's some sketchy things are happening. Some sketchy things are happening. All right. Do you right, want to give, wanna... give a bit of context to the story first? Okay. okay so think. yeah, that's true. Um, well, uh, if you share to my screen, I'll. I'll uh, so basically, a lot, a, lot, a lot of things have been happening recently with the pump and dumps and sticking it to the big Wall Street guys and whatnot. Um, and Dogecoin, well, I don't know if Dogecoin's really in that ecosystem, but it, it was pumped and then it was dumped. Uh, GameStop, all, more so on that side, pumped, dumped. Um, and then there was there was whispers, right, on, on the on the Wall Street bets. The great subreddit was on, talking. The, every, everybody was like, Shh, "There's a Telegram group chat, and everybody's gathering together to pump XRP." And um, it, it, it thing is, it was I think it was too organized in the sense that too many people heard of it, and then everybody was like, "Fuck yes, I'm gonna, I want a piece of this." Everybody started buying early to get a good price, and um, things didn't go to plan. So, let, so let me recap what actually happened. Um, as you guys know, people who have been watching this, uh, I bought XRP way back. I mean, w and way back. I, I mean, a month ago. Photo? It was the, it was, it was the first ever, trade I made, and since and since then, the, the, like the month of waiting since uh, since today or since since uh, last week, uh, I've been regretting the mistake of <laughs> investing in XRP. Uh, it's con it was constantly at the bottom of my portfolio, showing minus ten dollars, and I had only put thirty five dollars into it. <laughs> so it was it was like oh. What have I done? This was a mistake. Whatever. Um, and then, and then the the subreddit lords answered my prayers, and a pump was gonna happen. And I saw it was like it was like one x, two x, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna three x my money. I'm gonna five x my money. This is gonna hit three dollars, two dollars, um, or at least that's what a lot of people were saying and, and hoping for as well. Um, so I was already in this in in, in the long run. I had got a good price at uh, zero point three five. And as you can see here, the night before, uh, it, it was already at. Um, I think it's that's, that's in cent, isn't it? It's not in not in pounds or pence, is it? This is in cents, yeah. yeah. So this is trend, this is USD, yeah. yeah. Um, so the night before, it got to zero point four, and it was chilling a bit there. And I was I I was like, okay, nice. It, it was it was stagnating at zero point two five beforehand. So okay, it's cool. It went up to zero point four. This is nice. Um, and then I woke up the next morning and shit's happening, man. I'm, I'm drawing this lines. I'm like, what? It's, it's going to the moon. The, the event hasn't even started yet. And it's going up to 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Uh, and then one hour, or this is two hours before the event. So the idea was that everybody at 1.30 in England time uh, was going to pump and, and start to buy the stonks. Um, and it had dipped beforehand. So we went up to... 0 0.75 i think at that point i was i was almost 2x on my on my on my money um and then it dropped down to 0 0.5 and i was like yikes like uh maybe i should have sold but i didn't want to sell because the event had started yet and if it did go up to one or two dollars i would have beaten myself up so i was like i'm gonna wait till the event starts um so the event starts, and you can see over here, arrow dip, event, ske scheduled event, and it was teetering over here at 0 0.6. It I mean, went up. Yeah, I, I was I was recording it when it happened. I had my phone out, I had it on the screen. <laughs> I, 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 I might have a like, clip if you're lucky, but it was literally there, and it, it did go up a little bit. It okay, and it, 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 went up, it went up a little bit, it went up a little bit fast. 
and then it started to drop even faster like a nuke had dropped and everything was crumbling and as soon as i saw so it went it went past it went past here and i was like i drew this other support that it was bouncing at before beforehand i was like if it passes 0.5 i'm gonna sell and i'll i'll, I'll take whatever profits are at that point yeah. so it, it it plummeted past it like in like five ten minutes i was like I had a meeting, I think, at that point, and I had postponed it so that I could, <laughs> I could watch this happen. I could actually take a profit. Um, and it, pl it plummeted past that support, and I sold everything. And my $35 became $50. So you I'm not, I'm, I made, I made a, profit. a profit. I got out there in yeah. time, but I was seriously disappointed in the XRP Not community, but at least this Telegram group chat. And the, now I'm going to say the scam, okay? I, 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 I'm even willing to call it a scam. Okay. So there's, um, there's an interesting thing here. So this Telegram group chat was capped at 200,000 members. Yes. It wasn't even complete. So there's people joining it all the time. There's people watching They had it to all create. The time. There was 121,000 yeah. people online at the time of the event. Now, yep. uh, what, I was, uh, what I'd be curious to see is how many of those accounts on that Telegram group chat were fake? Ooh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because I. I... It, it just seemed that one there was a load of people in there and some of the some of the account names were a bit random yeah no that is true that is very true but then i could see people making a tele quick telegram account to and the thing is it was hard to join the link and it wasn't like it was very public yeah it wasn't accessible you had to find so i i i, I spent like a good 15 minutes fishing through reddit trying to find this this group um i don't i don't know it's it's i can't say it wasn't fake accounts but i, I i'm pretty sure it was well I don't know. Just, I, I think it's unlikely. With, I'd be I'd be interested to see like yeah. when it was early doors, but yeah. Um but yeah, it, it found support at 0 0.4, so it, it wasn't too bad. But I mean the the pump and dump didn't I mean it kind of happened but it didn't actually happen because it happened on the event. It happened of everybody getting ready for the pump and dump. Um So yeah, yeah, so this is this was exactly it. So it got heavily front run. Is, is yeah, the heavily, example. heavily front run. So there was, yeah. there was especially a thing. And it, this is things the market, you don't normally plan things with the market. Yeah, it's not yeah, like everybody exactly. goes, right, okay, we're going to do this. This, <laughs> this whole fad that's been the last two weeks of planning to buy GME, planning to buy AMC, planning to buy Dogecoin is, doesn't normally happen. It's completely yeah. random. Um, but yeah, so people, 100%. People, people were front running this like no tomorrow. And I think one of the interesting other things you've got there is that on your graph at the very bottom of your chart there, you've got the volume profile. And you mm -hmm. can see there was a big spike up in volume going from there. Yeah. Um, one interesting point I, I came across as well, I was looking through Twitter. Um, there's a Twitter page called Whale Alert that shows the movement of crypto. And somebody, it, well, they, they moved 350 million um, okay. XRP from the escrow wallet, which potentially went on to exchanges and which could have been the people that were dumping on, on, dumping on there, hence the bigger candle. But... The volume you see there wasn't sustained enough for two hundred thousand people in the Telegram chat all buying at the same time. <laughs> it just didn't happen. See, and you know what? You know what? I, I don't think, and I'm pretty sure the people in the group chat were like a lot of others front running this. And they already bought, and they were just looking to see if anybody else was around to buy at the already ridiculous price that was zero point seven for XRP at the time. Because I mean, it hasn't been like that since before the lockdown, before the. Well, I mean, the SEC uh, um, stuff started if you, happening. If you zoom right out on that chart, put it on like a weekly view and zoom right out, you'll see how how bad, how dire the XRP Oops. situation is. I don't think your chart will go too far back in all Oh, no, my, mine, mine is a free trial. But if you look at the price, even at, it's at now, even at the top of that pump, it's still like 95% down from its all-time high. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I mean... It's, it's, I think that I saw this was a lot. This was the case for a lot of um, altcoins, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly. It. If they haven't got any fundamentals, it was the same. It was all that ICO, ICO uh, issuing new new coins on the Ethereum chain back in mm. 2017, where people were thousand x in their money overnight. Well, sorry, not thousand x, but making a thousand percent on their money overnight. It was it, it was all from that, and that okay. was, that was Ponzi scheme central. That was that was pump. And, <laughs> that was royal pump and dump if you were in 2017. I wasn't there. Royal sadly, pump. But prime pump and dump so so okay so the reason why i've, I've shaven i'm wearing a, a buttoned up shirt is because i am now going to give you a case on the fact of this there's some, some sex ske, se, sexy sketchy yes, things sexy happening people. in in the uh well, can you please in the group. take to the stand do you swear okay so i i already got the first red alarm 
when uh, this ha- this happened one hour before the uh, before the the event, so it was supposed to happen at one thirty, where the admin was like, "Our goal's already been achieved. We we have we've made we made X people more recognized." And I was like, "Hang on a minute, this is not actual oh, criteria for this." Uh, he was like, wait, "Wait, this was not the goal. I did not sign up for this. I signed up to get cash, bro. The thing I signed is, you, up you to signed get up money. before this even happened, which is <laughs> exactly why you true. came out with a profit. That's the good thing." <laughs> Um, and then, and then this is, this is what happened during the event. So let's go. Wales started to tank. They reached the support at 0.4. And then, okay, so this is why I have this screenshot. <laughs> the biggest excuse in that group chat was exchanges are crashing. Is, yeah, I and I coming. highly doubt that was actually the reason I, why. I was and sitting I, there staring at my Binance going, this is fine. What are you on about? The exchange isn't even breaking a sweat. And and, and and they and they were like and they were like sharing the same. I think maybe one broker went out. One one exchange went out, and they kept sharing the same one that was going out. Like everything is going down. It's like no, it's not really. It's just one dude. Um, and and I think they've all accepted that that was the reason why there was a dump and not a pump. <laughs> um, okay, so. That was that was the inside uh, scoop about what was. Oh, I need to zoom out before I can go to the next picture. Screenshot number three. Now this is where things start getting sketchy. Okay, uh, the name of the Telegram group chat was Pump and Hold. I want to put emphasis on Pump. It was to increase and manipulate the price to go higher. Okay. Yeah. Now, after that happened, this. Is this what is was on the Telegram. Oh yeah, shit, you're right. <laughs> Ooh, blind. Channel yeah, yeah. name was changed to update buy and hold. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, that's okay. So it, the event happened. They got everybody. They told everybody that it was going to be a pump and hold. And then after it dumped, they said they changed the group chat name to buy and hold. Now, this is like, oh, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just, it's just the name. Uh, this is the statement they came out with after they na- they renamed the chat. The buy and hold XRP Telegram group would like to remind everyone that our mission from the beginning was not to manipulate the price. Sketchy as uh, fuck, Ryan. I reckon someone's called him out on it then. I reckon there's... Just... Sketchy as fuck. I reckon they there's... named the group chat Pump and Hold. They let everybody, they gave everybody the hope, false hope that they were going to pump the money, everybody was going to make money or whatever, whatever w- what the plan was. They renamed the group name to buy and hold and then said they put they they, they even put the, na- the the change name in the tech in the text the buy and hold that no the pump and hold and then they said that the goal was not to manipulate the price. Lawyer Sketchy Hanny's as fuck. been sniffing around it. That's what's been going on. <laughs> They're on the other side of the docket. So I, I I'm calling foul play over here and I think that this is I mean I mean it's, is, it's, is it foul play? Is it really? Isn't it? Play? Is isn't it? You're telling everybody, hey, we're gonna pump and hold. We make a group chat to say everybody are pumping and holding. It dumps. You then rename the group chat <laughs> to buy, and then you say this wasn't the plan in the beginning. Yeah, that is sketchy. That's bro. exactly it. But people people bought into it, believing it was gonna happen. So yes, sketchy. The, the the fundamental organizing of the people to do yeah, that yeah, pump yeah, and dump yeah. scheme. That's the sketchy part of it. The people that got yeah. shredded by it. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah no, 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 a hundred percent. Yeah, no, no, no. And I, I, definitely, like, you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> I mean, <it's laughs> full everybody dis- knows. Full this. disclosure. I mean, I, I put a hundred in just to yellow it, just to see what would happen with. I was up fifty percent at one point, ended up closing like twenty percent down because I didn't buy at the levels you bought at. So I, yeah. I was like, just in case, I'm willing to have a small gamble on this. So I didn't yeah. really lose out too much, and I'm not really going to cry over it. But yeah. I know. I I I think I think a lot of people in the same boat as you. It was just like they were trying to the grasp for the Dogecoin or the GME or the AMC hype. They were thinking, you know, we've we've been given more breathing room to actually join this pump, but yeah. n- nothing happened. Well, I mean, the the the, the dump is. What is it due to whales? Did everybody just sell? I'm not entirely sure. My my assessment of the situation is, is this was an exit scheme. So there's there's quite a lot of people, OG, well, I say OGs, people from back 2017 that have got very, very, very heavy XRP bags, as in they're yeah. holding a lot of XRP at a heavy loss. So this was an exit scam for, or exit scheme so they could sell theirs at slightly more money and get their money out of the market. That's so so would you say it's illegal? Oh, okay. So if it was the case that the admins of this group chat did this 
And if I if I go and check, if I was able to see the the account, the exchange of this admin's account, and see that he actually sold a fuck ton when it hit zero point seven, <laughs> and he was a, and he was a he was an early investor, would that be illegal? No, not in this situation. It wouldn't be if if this was a so the key thing to understand about crypto markets is they're not regulated. Yeah, the SEC has no regulation on how to manage or how to trade on crypto markets. So this kind of thing happens. It's the wild, wild west, and it's what happens. You get wrecked. It's your own fault. I'm sorry, mate. Yeah, it's the beauty of crypto, but it's also the downside of crypto <laughs> for the people. Beauty of crypto. Now, yeah, if this was to happen in a regulated market, then yes, 100, percent that would be illegal. Okay, and they would there would be a legal case against those people for effectively. Well, it, it would just be an exit scheme, effectively, just trying to dump yeah. on people that are out of the norm. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, they haven't really done anything wrong. With it. And this is the same conversation they're having about the whole GME situation about organising that many people. Is that technically a scheme? Well, not really, because what what happened? The difference between that and what happened there wasn't like an organised. Oh, let's pump the price of GME. It, it was the an orig- exploit, exploiting an exploit. Yeah, that's ri- what it was. the original thing is that 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 user that posted the original post and his bet on there just post on there, and people went, "Oh, he's he's on the money yeah. here." They joined in, and then all of a sudden, everybody's memeing about, "Yeah, hold diamond hands." All <laughs> this stuff. Yeah, there is. That that was there was technically nothing illegal that went on there either. But it is it is it is an interesting topic of conversation. Yeah, and I mean. Go ahead. I was gonna say the key question is: Is are you gonna buy any more XRP now? Oh no, fuck no. that shit! I'm out, and, I, and I, that's why I wanted to show you what my portfolio is looking at right now. Um, but you know, I I think the I, the I think you could say it was success. I mean, they were staggering at zero point two five, and now they're now there seems to be a heavy support at zero point three five. So I mean, it's a good a good increase uh, yeah, in mean, support at least. I mean, if you if you'd sold out right now, would you still be in profit? Wouldn't you? Because you bought a, what did you buy? I bought a zero point three five, so I would just about You'd make just a small points. amount of the yeah. fact that you'd done your YOLO a bit earlier just happened to play out nicely. <laughs> exactly, bro. Like I was saying, a one head play became a five head play. <laughs> I knew that this was gonna Deep happen. Brain. I just Deep didn't start at the right time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Big brain moves. <laughs> Big brain moves. Yeah. Uh, should we move to the? Uh, well, I, I mean, th- this is a nice segue into. So I put thirty five dollars into XRP. I sold it at fifty dollars, um, and there was this, there's a little small hole in my portfolio, which was a little crypto hole that was that wanted to be filled. So I looked at Ethereum. Oh, you've done it! And I saw well initially the from graph. the overview, that's looking a lot better your portfolio. And I saw I saw this graph, and it was I was like, nice. "There's a triangle." There's a triangle. We like <laughs> there. Triangle. There was a dip. And I was like, if there's any time to buy Ethereum, it's right now before it breaks up to the upside. Wow. And sure enough, it hit a new all-time high. So uh, Very well traded, sir. Very oh, well no, traded, sir. Yeah, very dainty, <laughs> sir. No, that was, no, that's good. No, no the same thing is you've done exactly the right thing there. So you, you found the yeah. ascending triangle. You've, the thing, you managed to buy at the bottom of the bottom of the um, price range as it's going up, and it's broke to the upside. So perfectly played as far as I'm concerned. So how far are you up on that at the moment, on that position? So I'm now 13% up Jeez. with a... I only put $50 into it, which was the $50 that I gained from XRP. So... Um, no, but the portfolio is looking a lot more green it's now as well, which I'm a bit happy about. Yeah. Uh, $40 up instead of $40 down. <laughs> done, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Ethereum is now my uh, my like sub my sub crypto coin play. Um, yeah, it's a little and, bit uh, XRP. <laughs> just a little nah it's, it's, it it's a lot better than XRP <laughs> it's a lot better than XRP <laughs> but yeah I, and the other thing I want to say is Disney man Disney's uh, making me some good cash at the moment with a 7.7% uh, 7%, 7% increase mm-hmm. um, things are looking pretty good you've had a you've had a good week so far then yeah I'm having a, a compared to last week you're nearly, you're nearly back in profit on that one as well it's, oh bitcoin it's, is also about to break even in as well yeah definitely my bitcoin this is all, been going on things so. looking looking pretty good for me very healthy no, nice work. <laughs> thank you very much nice work. how about you uh i've had a i've had an all right all right week as well i mean we did the episode on hypnosis there'll be a yeah. banner tab that way i forgot my camera's reversed um, you can watch the episode on there. I've done my buying on that. I've also posted that buying on the Twitter account as well. So if you want to see nice. when we're actually buying and selling stuff, go follow the Twitter account. There'll be the live post on there whenever we make any changes to the portfolio. Um, yeah, so I put 2,400 into the hypnosis. Oh, you, I thought you were only putting 1,200 in. No, exactly. So I, I know my monthly buying is only 1,200, but I am very interested in the company. Okay, I, want to I like that. My, por- my portion in them, so I pulled forward next month's investment 
to this month and gone in and invested more now. Now, okay, awesome. I've done this a few times before and I've got a really bad habit of going, yeah, I've pulled forward next month's investment and then I still do next month's investment anyway. Oh, no. So I end up eating into my house fund, but we'll, we'll gloss up that. Um, so I end up putting more money in. But yeah, um, so that's done incredibly well. Crypto's been back on the rise again. We're back yeah, up to nearly yeah. 300% gain on, on that major position there. Lost a little bit of the altcoins I was holding because when I did my YOLO XRP trade, I was trading against... Um, uh, trading with Bitcoin against it, so I lost yeah. a small amount from there. But it was, again, we're talking like a few thousand satoshis. It's, it's minimal, minimal damages. Mm-hmm. So portfolios, are, uh, and it's not a new all-time high for me, but it is a new all-time high for the portfolio podcast. Nice. So uh, what? What? What is? What was your? Oh, your all-time high was a couple of months ago. It was a sixty-nine right? four twenty. That was the first episode we did. Yeah. So no, I mean, I mean, your personal all-time high. Oh, my personal all-time high. I think it was about seventy-five grand. And that was back okay, up okay. when um, crypto was at forty two thousand dollars. So that was well, Bitcoin was up at forty two thousand dollars. So that was that was more up in that thing. But we keep moving. We're both in the keep... green. It's good to see. Yeah, it's nice. Finally, it's we nice. might babble it's on, nice. but apparently we know what we're talking about at least for this week because <laughs> we're in the at green. least for this week exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I find I find this pattern for the last month where the beginning to the middle of the week it's green and then near the end of the week it starts looking red i don't know whether that's a normal pattern or whether it's just some people some people actually trade that pattern there's people actually trade s p call options on on that exact pattern they know okay if you uh, there was one guy i was looking at uh, he's a youtube channel called beer hezer he's quite an interesting young lad and he was he was doing trades on the s p 500 and he, what he was doing is he noticed that it, most mornings if there'd been a particular news article the night before the s p 500 had always dropped by one percent in the morning so he'd mm-hmm. always start dollar cost average in the morning and normally it would recover back to its pre-market levels nice. that, as long as the news wasn't like wall street has burned to the ground <laughs> yeah. gme pump it was um <laughs> it, it, it would generally do right and he was actually making pretty good profit on that as well so he was making, okay okay he was doing leveraged call options with about i think it's going to be about twenty thousand dollars at a time and he was making like 10 percent every day on it and that was awesome fantastic returns i mean if you're returning two grand a day then easy money and she might yeah, yeah, yeah. sorted if you know what i mean so, <laughs> Yeah. I, what I was going to say, what I'd like to see on your portfolio is the when we do these um, stock reviews, maybe yeah. maybe like highlight those because I'll be really interested to see throughout you know th- the life of this podcast how how those reviewed stocks are doing. Yeah, I think I think that's a good shout to be fair. I think I think if we go down the portfolio and pick off the ones you're more interested in to start with, and we'll do do a couple of episodes yeah. on those. I've had a couple of people speak to me already about some other stocks they want me to have a look at so nice. um, we'll do some episodes on those but those are more um, what's the word I'm looking for uh, they're Niche. sort of gambles no they're, they're, they're gambles not, they're, they're, okay. they're not they're not they're not dividend growth they're not what i look for and they're not your big mm-hmm. growth stocks they're sort of supposed to be up and coming shares of somebody that's developed yeah. a massive new technology that's supposed to be groundbreaking it's like trying to invest in apple when it first came out if you know what i mean it's yeah and I, I was i was i was thinking of doing something similar as in these like penny stocks that they've been calling maybe maybe yeah. looking into putting some attention to them but maybe maybe we could do an episode on on, on what it, what what you should be looking for in those kind of stocks as well yeah exactly that and exactly and if people anybody else has got other other ones they want us to have a look at bang a comment down 100 percent, yeah we're always interested to have a look at new stuff and find out about new markets and stuff like that so far away it's very nice very nice good week then all around really awesome yeah i like his it. xrp came through portfolio <laughs> good for winning. We're yeah crying next it's episode. good 100 percent. i guarantee i'm going to be minus 60 dollars <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> we'll yeah, you goes. just put more money in and cover it up like yes yeah. <laughs> cool right well thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that episode. awesome um like subscribe great please give us traction algorithm fantastic tutty bye bye bye